Hello, my name is Matt Crowley. I'm a product specialist with Atlas Capco. In this video, we will be looking at how to configure a stack light with a Focus 61 system. Now let's take a look into the software. In order to configure a stack light on the Focus 61 system, first we need to access Tools Talk BLM. We can see here on the screen that in Tools Talk BLM we have the option to connect to our device by clicking Connect, Focus 61, and then clicking Configuration. Now that we are in Tools Talk BLM, we can see a few different elements here on the screen in front of us, but what we should primarily take note of is the left-hand side of the screen. If we scroll down, we see Station 1. We can open it up by double-clicking, and we can also open up Station 2 by double-clicking. If you see within each station, there is accessories here and accessories there. What that means is we can configure an accessory, aka a stack light, individually for each station. However, considering the process is exactly the same for each station, we're going to close Station 2 and just open up Accessories in Station 1 by right-clicking and hitting Add Stack Light. From this page, we can see a lot of different things. We're going to start and work our way from left to right. So the most important element of a stack light is the lights themselves. So in order to add a light, we can start with Lamp 1. We hit Mounted, and we just choose the color. In our case, the bottom lamp is blue. So we select blue, and now we can set this up. So what does this big list of elements here mean? This simply refers to what do we want a blue light to stand for? Which of these messages is gonna cause the blue light to light up? In our example, we are going to go ahead and say that a blue light will light up for sequence start. So we simply select sequence start and that will activate it. And then on the right hand side of the screen, we're okay with the switch being on. We do not need it to flash we'll have it stay on until we perform our next tightening. We set this and hit save. And now we can work our way up the chain utilizing the other lights. Next in line we have green. We select the color green. We select setup. And we're gonna say a green will light up for an okay tightening. So we select okay tightening. We want it to flash and we want it to flash for a thousand milliseconds. And then we hit set. Save. And as we move up the chain again, the next color mounted is yellow. We select yellow, and we will say that we were going to utilize yellow for job OK. Keep the switch on. We would like it to flash for 500 milliseconds. Set it and hit save. And finally, our top lamp is last but not least the red so we select red set up and we would like this for a tightening not okay in this example in which case we would like it to flash for 500 milliseconds set it and save it now you can see on the screen here we have the stack light configured exactly to our means if you look in the middle there are two other inputs we want to take into consideration the first we want to look at is the button press we will say in this example if the button is pressed, we would like to do abort all jobs. We click abort all jobs, click add, and then we save. We'll also utilize a two switch key turn just so we can better understand how this works with the key in the front. We're gonna say if we switch the key to the right, we want to turn all lamps off. And if we switch the key to the left, we're gonna turn all lamps on. We save these elements, and now we can see that our stack light has been configured. Now we will actually see the stack light in use with a Mechatronic system once we save and disconnect from Toolstock BLM. Now that we've had the opportunity to program the stack light in Toolstock BLM, we're going to work on it hands-on to see how it works in practice. The first thing we can see on our stack light is we'll be able to see the blue light on the front of the stack light, indicating that our sequence is ready to start. This blue light mimics the blue light on the front of the mechatronic wrench. We can also see the green light light up on an OK tightening, also mimicking the green light from the mechatronic wrench, symbolizing in this sequence or this event an OK tightening as well. Now that we've seen the stack light working in practice with a mechatronic system, we can indeed say that not only does it offer very great feedback for our operators by mimicking the lights in the wrench, but it's also easy to configure and very responsive. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Atlas Capco representative.
Thank you.